In this video, I'll provide a demo of online tutoring with Skype. Many parents and students have inquired about this option, so I thought I'd demonstrate just how seamless and obviously convenient this medium can be. The first step is a student will need to create a Skype account. It takes less than two minutes and it's completely free. Once a student has established an account, I will send a contact request. And here's my user ID, 8800LLC. Once the request has been accepted, then we'll have the ability to video call each other. And by the way, Skype is free. You will see ads like this on the home page, but you'll never see an ad during a video call. So once we've scheduled a time for our session, I will then video call the student. And once it's accepted in this top right corner, there'll be a box, well, an image, where we can see each other. And I think it's important to have that personal contact throughout the session that will always be there. That's just done through the webcam of our computers. Also, once the lesson has begun, I will then share the screen. And that means the student can see everything that is on my screen. And then I can switch to different programs. So here's one program. And these are all the official College Board SAT is just uploaded into this program. And so the student will have these tests. Sometimes they'll be assigned for homework. Sometimes we'll just be reviewing problems together. But I have the ability to write on the screen and explain different concepts to the student. The student can obviously ask questions. We can see each other. And so it's just a great medium. It's very convenient. I can scroll through. I can erase. I can change colors. And so there's all sorts of different abilities. Students have sometimes asked me, will I have the ability to write on the screen? And typically no, unless the student has a pad. But from my experience, that really hasn't been a barrier. If you think about it, during a live class when I teach, I'm the one writing on the board, the student's taking notes. It's not like the student comes up and writes on the board, or even during my tutoring sessions, I'm typically the one who's writing. The student obviously will take notes and can hold up notes to the screen, but it, it really isn't the issue that you might think it to be. I also have the ability sometimes for explaining other concepts to use a virtual blackboard. And this is another great tool where I can explain different concepts and we can work through different formulas. I can change colors and just it's just a great tool. And so many students have told me that they actually prefer this virtual tu tutoring to live tutoring. And obviously it's much more convenient. And so I just think it's, it's a great option to consider. So if you have any questions, just feel free to email me through my website. And thanks for watching.